It's time for the Daily Stand-Up Podcast presented by Agile Dad with your host, Lee Henson. Without any further ado, let's get started. For many, many years, people have talked about the definition of done. And I've heard many people say that this is the most dreaded part of standing up an Agile implementation, trying to figure out what the definition of done is. What does it really mean? Why is it really important? Why do we even bother? And for many organizations, they go through all the work of putting this together, and it winds up just becoming a checklist. It winds up becoming just something that really doesn't matter and doesn't stand for what we're really trying to do. So my hope is that now with the scrum guide really calling out definition of done, that it gives us a little more context of what we should be doing and how we define what done really means. Now, what I can tell you is a lot of people, a lot of teams, a lot of organizations, a lot of books have gone through the painful discovery of composing and writing and formulating definitions of done. But the truth is, each step along the way, we tend to discover that the definition of done may not be applicable to certain teams or groups, or that we forgot something with regard to definition of done that needs to be added. It seems to me that each and every sprint, something happens, there's a misunderstanding, something doesn't get finished, And it makes us revisit and reanalyze our own definition of done, which is really, really interesting. So I think that if everyone agrees that something's done, it's done. But how easy is it to get everyone to agree? So if we go to the the official guide, if we go to the Scrum Guide, uh, they have a little bit of an interesting take on this. So definition of done is a formal description of the state of an increment when it meets the quality measures required for the product. Okay. Now that sounds like a bunch of gobbledygook to some people, but I think if you look at it and just consider that you're trying to get an increment, a slice of time to map to a specific case of details or required units of some kind or required state, then that's going to give you a better definition of done. If you use this as intended, the DOD, the definition of done, creates transparency. It allows the team to provide a shared understanding of what work was completed, recalling you know, all the things that they've done, both non-functional and functional requirements, and talking through how this comprises an increment or works towards their sprint goal. If something that they're working on does not meet the definition of done, it should not be released or presented in a sprint review. It should return to the backlog for future consideration with the rest of the yet-to-be-completed work. So I think sometimes people try to push through items that don't necessarily meet the definition of done in hopes that they'll get some feedback or some, some early information. And I'm not all against that. I think that occasionally it's better for us to get feedback early and often so that we can pivot if necessary. But if we realize that this is barely threaded or barely standing, it doesn't make sense for us to present that to you know a valuable stakeholder at the end unless we really have some questions or require some feedback on items that we're showing. So I think when you go to create your definition of done, it's one of those things that I don't want you to create a checklist, but I recommend that you use a checklist to try to figure out what done really means. So so here's an example. So if I were creating a product or service, I might think, okay, has the acceptance criteria been verified and has everything been thoroughly tested? Are all the creation tests completed, whether we're creating a product, a service, code, et cetera, is, are all the creation things done? Has the team internally tested these items? Has it gone through test automation practices? Is our testing standing on solid ground? And is everything signed off on as far as, yes, we're good to go? Has full regression testing been reviewed? Have we, have we facilitated conversations about 
about automation? Have we, or do we have a plan going forward to maintain the test cases that we have, right? If you're doing something electronic. Has code review been conducted? Making sure that we are meeting a certain coding standard. Has the team paired or peer reviewed each other's code? If they're making something technical, we want to make sure that if it's not technical, has an inspection been done? You want to make sure that more than one set of eyes sees everything before it meets a definition of done. If we have any outstanding defects that are known but not resolved, are they in an acceptable state to move forward? Has the completed work been accepted as completed by the product owner or product manager? Are all of the automation pieces in place going forward? Have we consulted with other outside groups if necessary, whether it's regular, regular, regulatory or compliance or governance, or have we talked to marketing or finance or training to make sure we're ready? And I think that you know this list is not all inclusive, but it gives you an idea of some of the things that you should be thinking about when you go in to create your definition of done. I'm sure there's more to it than that, but it's one of those things where I think the idea is don't overthink it, but make sure you take careful consideration and plan for the things that are going to be necessary in order for the organization to say, we feel confident in the product increment. And we trust that when you say something is done, that it's going to meet our expectations. It's going to meet or exceed the consumer's expectations and that it's going to be easy for us to implement and maintain. So there you have it. So I hope this was helpful to you. It gives you a little bit of clarity on definition of done. If you have a topic you'd like for us to discuss, feel free to reach out. Learn more at AgileDad.com. We'd love to hear from you. As always, we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, do take care.